Using API Gateway helps keep your application secure and organized. Today we'll explain API Gateway by looking at a real life example of my app Grub Guide, which uses it to connect a React frontend to some Lambda functions in the AWS cloud. Hi, I'm Dylan, a cloud engineer living in Oregon. I got the idea for this video a few days ago when I posted on Reddit asking people which topics they had a hard time conceptualizing as a beginner in AWS. And the most upvoted topic that came up was surrounding API Gateway. And now I have it here with the response of what they said. So here it says, I couldn't figure out API Gateway. I mean, you just give it a URL path and a function and it connects them. So what? It took me a long time to realize that that was a meaningful and useful thing to do. And then he goes and talks about some uh, Django Python examples. And so the goal of this video is we're gonna unpack that question and get into exactly why API Gateway is useful. Let's unpack what he means by that. He's basically saying that API Gateway is the same thing as URL router, except it's connected to the cloud. You're probably familiar with URL routers if you've taken any sort of web development class in college. For me, it was CS290. A router is a central web development concept and it's actually pretty simple at its core. So look right now at the URL for this video. You're gonna see youtube.com and then everything after the slash is the route. And so what's happening is the first route, watch, is calling some function and then you have our ID afterwards. Similarly, if you were to go and search for a term, there's gonna be a different route that's passed to the YouTube servers. It's the same way for API Gateway and any other web application you're gonna build. And so API Gateway works in the same way as YouTube or any other website. So what's going on behind the scenes is when you come to your API Gateway dashboard, you can come down to stages and see that just like YouTube has a server that's handling any requests and any routes that are passed to it, you have your own server that is handling the request that you set out for your API gateway. So you can see here, this is the invoke URL that if I wanna call this, I've actually already opened it up in here, I can call my API and then I can call my submit route on it and that's gonna do something. So if you look, um, my API's name is submit form and then within it, I have the submit route. And so if I call that, I'm hitting enter. And just like YouTube had a server that's gonna give me back videos, this server's set up to give me back whatever I want with it. And you can see there's an authentication that's needed. Uh, but in the context of your app, when you are authenticated, that would try to find the perfect restaurant given whatever input it had. And so that just like hopefully gives you an idea that it's really the same thing, except we're not taking this URL and throwing it in this bar. We're calling it through this function. And API host knows to use this base URL structure. And then we're adding the submit form and submit. Um, and so this is just part of their you know, developer package to make it easier. But under the hood, it's, it's really the same thing that's happening. These are the building blocks for a complex application. Let's see how this plays out in a real life app. This is GrubGuide. It's built with AWS Amplify and React. Amplify makes it really easy to make applications and does a lot of the heavy lifting of connecting everything up. GrubGuide's purpose is to deliver delightful, fast, and personal restaurant suggestions to tourists in my hometown of Bend, Oregon. The user fills out a survey of their preferences and is returned their perfect restaurant. In order to find their perfect restaurant, the survey is passed through API Gateway and sent to a Lambda function which processes the result, pulls the restaurant from a database, and stores the response. All right, so let's just hop right in and see how this all works together. Um, okay, so we've gone through the whole survey, we've chosen all of our preferences, and when we hit finish, that's what's gonna start the initial call to the API Gateway. So I'm gonna click finish, and right now what's happening is over in our code, we have a, a function here that handles the submission of the form. So we handled submission and part of that is we're preparing the form data and then, oh, don't mind the response. That's for afterwards, that's a surprise. Okay, so we have, we're preparing the form and then we're calling the API gateway and so 
what this is saying is we're gonna call the submit form API and we're gonna do the slash submit route and we're gonna pass into it our form data and that's what the user filled out. And so, okay, so we call this and what happens is over in our AWS console, uh, I'll go back for a second. We can look at all of our APIs. We're calling the submit form. Remember the submit form API and the slash submit route. So we have our submit form API. And once that loads, we can see that this only has one route. You could have as many routes as you wanted, um, but we have our slash submit route. And if I click any, uh, we're gonna notice when we hit this route, what's happening is the client, which is what we came from, is going to this Lambda function. And it's gonna call this Lambda submit form dev function. And if we click on that, we can go in AWS and see, okay, this is our Lambda function launched. Um, right here, you can't see the code because the, the file's too large, but if we go into our file structure, uh, you notice this is the submit form Lambda function. And so this is where I've been developing it. This is where all the algorithm happens. And so this is the function that processes all of the restaurant data, makes a couple database calls, stores the responses, and when it's all done, it returns the two top restaurants for the users. And so once that happens, uh, that Lambda function is gonna send its response back through, back to the gateway. And once that gateway gets the response, it's gonna, whoop, it's gonna go to um, this part. And so we get a response and we have some error handling here and we have our results array. And this is gonna contain the information for uh, the user's perfect restaurant. And that's gonna get passed back into the web page as we see and as you saw, it was supposed to be a surprise. Uh, but these are our suggestions based on what we chose. And this is uh, how the whole setup works and can be expanded on uh, as you build out and have uh, other things you wanna do with uh, connecting your back end to your front end. As we saw, API Gateway is a single door connecting your front end and your back end. And as a result of this, your app has more organization and security. This is just one example, and you can get a lot more in depth than Grub Guide. I hope this video served as a building block so you can use API Gateway to improve the organization and security of your own web apps. Feel free to drop any specific questions in the comments. If you want to learn more about technology that enables business, start right now by subscribing and clicking the bell so we can learn together. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.